In a head-to-head -head between ChatGBT and Microsoft Copilot, who wins? This is a five-round battle using quality and speed of response as the criteria. And I'll be using ChatGPT 4.0 and Microsoft Copilot for 365. Let's get into it. So in our first test between ChatGPT and Microsoft Copilot, we're going to see how each of them deal with a customer service query. So I'm just going to paste the query into each of them. So into ChatGPT on the left and Copilot on the right. And the scenario is as follows. I'd like to test your response to a customer service query with the following scenario. Customer has recently purchased a product from the top smart home devices website, but is having trouble getting it to work. Please respond to their query, which is, hi, I recently purchased a smart home thermostat from your website, having trouble setting it up. Every time I connect to my Wi-Fi, I get an error message saying connection failed. I've tried resetting the device on my router, but nothing seems to work. Can you help fix this? So I'm just going to send that off on ChatGPT. Just going to send that off to Microsoft Copilot. And let's see how both of them get on. So we have the response starting to come in from uh, ChatGPT here with a, a bit of a, an introduction here, sort of a, apologizing for the issue, exactly the same uh, or similar apology, but similar style uh, from uh, Copilot here. And now both of them are coming out with troubleshooting tips, but ChatGPT has already finished. So um, we have the suggested uh, fixes here and there are six of them and they say if there's still an issue you can email and it's provided uh, they've guessed at the email address because I've given them the company name here and they've helped to uh, complete the uh, sign off there and uh, looks like Copilot has just finished very similar introduction we've got one two three four five uh, steps there rather than the six for uh, ChatGPT and they're saying if you have any more concerns please get in touch and a similar sort of sign off there but perhaps not quite so apologetic and not quite such a good conclusion there uh, because it's just kind of like a vague you know, reach out to us, whereas the chat GPT is a bit more detailed here because they're asking for the model number, the error message and so on. So probably a bit of a more of a time saving uh, response uh, here, but uh, both pretty good. Uh, and I would say on time, uh, chat GPT definitely uh, won that. Uh, it was quite a bit quicker than uh, than Copilot. So for uh, round one, test one, we have ChatGPT 1, Copilot 0. So next up in round two or test two, let's see how ChatGPT and Microsoft Copilot get on with recommendations. So this time, as you can see, I'm going to ask both to recommend five business podcasts that will engage and entertain me. So whilst I'm talking, let's just fire that off and see how they get on on and ChatGPT straight away has come back it's actually addressed me by my sort of known name JP uh, here are five podcasts that are engaging and entertaining perfect for staying informed and inspired and so it's listed out the five uh, podcasts there uh, with some explanation of, uh, of each uh, each one there and finishing off by saying I hope you find these podcasts engaging and entertaining and over on Copilot which is only on number two so once again in this round a little bit well I'd say actually considerably uh, slower uh, we have some podcasts being recommended there and just put it in the second one here. Uh, it says this podcast is geared towards helping female entrepreneurs. So I'm not a female entrepreneur. So whilst that might be interesting, I'm not sure it's going to be entirely appropriate uh, for uh, for me. Uh, there might be better options uh, out there. Uh, but what uh, Cobalt has done is that it has put in references to each of these podcasts. So I can actually uh, click on the reference there 
you can see, look, it's come from Best Business Podcasts uh, 2024. In fact, that is the source of the first three. And the fourth and the fifth one are 17 Best Business uh, Podcasts of 2024 there. Uh, so pretty closely matched this time. So if we look at speed, then ChatGPT wins. But quality of response, I would say Copilot edges it here because you've got a slightly more detailed explanation, I would say, and we've got the reference back to the uh, source of the information. So I think even though uh, slightly perhaps off recommendation for, for number two overall, I'm going to give this one to Copilot. So current score is ChatGPT1, Copilot1. So the score is 1-1 one, one as we head into round three of ChatGPT4 versus Microsoft Copilot. And the scenario this time is I'm planning a new social media campaign to help a charity for the homeless raise funds. So I need to understand the latest social media trends, best practices for increasing engagement and a reference to some successful case studies. So I'm going to fire off the Copilot prompt first for this one because typically it is likely to to, uh, take longer uh, as we've uh, discovered and ChatGPT is already in action here so it's summarized my prompt it's already coming back with six latest social media trends uh, we're up to six best practices for engagement and it's finished with uh, seven there and it's been quite specific there around uh, donating because I mentioned it was a charity and we've now got some uh, successful uh, case studies so four of those including uh, Red Nose Day there uh, and uh, it's provided something extra here strategy for your campaign which didn't actually uh, ask for but this looks uh, all very uh, useful in terms of helping me plan the um, campaign uh, and yeah explains that I can uh, do that now I've got the information confirms the homeless charity bit and helpfully suggests that if I need further help with putting together my campaign it is able to uh, to help so meanwhile let's see how uh, Copilot is getting on so Copilot is uh, no confirmation of the task uh, and it's still on the latest social media trends so Although it has provided more, so we are up to as many as uh, 12. I think it was, uh, was it seven uh, on the other side? So six trends uh, for ChatGPT. So it's now working away on increasing engagement. You'll see that as before, it's got references to the uh, sources for the uh, information, which is quite uh, quite handy. So it puts those in by uh, number uh, there, which we can click uh, and uh, highlight. Uh, and it's also got them in uh, words here, the uh, direct links. And you can see we're up to um, numerous different uh, websites uh, where it's getting the information from. So that, this, uh, that aspect is really, really useful um, for Copilot. Uh, but the actual responses, although they're more comprehensive, they're not so detailed. Each individual response is a bit lighter on, uh, on detail. And we have to say the speed is very, very uh, slow uh, So compared with ChatGPT. So still going on here, uh, putting in the case studies, albeit more um, of them. So it'll be interesting to see whether it actually finishes with a conclusion or not. So just a bit of a, a vague conclusion there to, uh, to sign off. So... Difficult to compare these two, it's probably a bit close because I do like the references on Copilot, but I think given the speed, the overall quality of the response, because ChatGPT put in that really good conclusion there, the current score is now going to be ChatGPT2, Copilot1. So as we head into round four, the score is ChatGPT2, Copilot 1. So the next test involves looking at summarizing a PDF document. So I was actually sent this document this morning and it's a technical document around a process 
involving oxygen or lack of oxygen that simulates hill training. So as a runner, this was something I was uh, interested in. So I'm simply going to ask both of them to summarize this document so uh, in PDF format. So Copilot is going to kick off there and I've now kicked off chat GPT and uh, very quick, both of them over on chat GPT, we've kind of got the summary in the form of headings followed by bullet points or numbers, nice and helpful with some contact details at the uh, bottom there. And not really quite so helpful over on Copilot, no headings or anything like that. Uh, just a sort of outline of the document and an explanation of the documents so are quite hard to read. And well, yes, it's got a reference, but we know the reference because we've actually given it the document. So that doesn't give it an edge this time. So definitely a win for ChatGPT here uh, on all counts, both in terms of quality of response and speed. So the current score is now ChatGPT3. Copilot won. So it's the final round, and with the scores at ChatGPT 3, Copilot 1, can Copilot make up any ground on ChatGPT? So in this exercise, we are looking at photo creation, and what I'm going to do is kick the prompts off straight away to give them a bit of time to create these photos. And the aim here is to create a realistic photo of a middle-aged man wearing sunglasses, working on a dark blue Samsung laptop in a busy coffee shop. So I've given some quite specific details there to give the tools a thorough test. So uh, we have got a result from ChatGPT here and uh, just coming in now is a Copilot with uh, four photos there. Uh, and although I started off Copilot first, ChatGPT did finish first. So I think for speed, we give that to Chat. GPT. Uh, let's uh, look at this photo then. So interesting that we've got Samsung there and uh, looks like uh, the letters have uh, been spelt correctly. Um, and yeah, given it, they haven't quite done the A how Samsung normally do the uh, do the A, but uh, it's not sort of um, far off. Um, and not sure the laptop is actually dark blue, just about. Uh, coffee shop is busy, guy is middle-aged, is wearing sunglasses. Uh, and yeah, there's quite sort of good detail here um, on uh, and texture uh, of the chair, uh, table and, um, and surroundings here. Uh, so um, pretty good job there. Uh, so with Copilot, we've got four photos. And I can immediately see that two of them haven't actually got any lettering on the laptop, so we can't see if they're Samsung or not. So let's blow up this one, which has got some lettering, and we will have a, a closer look. Uh, and yeah, just about make out Samsung, although it's not as clear uh, as a chat GPT, but we have got perhaps a, a better blue cover. And uh, yeah, I would say detail texture-wise, very similar to chat GPT. So it's a busy coffee shop. Uh, the people have faded in, into the background uh, and uh, we can see the buttons on the guy's uh, jumper there. Uh, we can see his watch, we can see his ring. So some uh, nice clear detail uh, there. So yeah, both done a really, really good job. Let's have a look at the comparison uh, again. Uh, and although ChatGPT was a bit faster, I think I'm gonna give this one to Copilot because we've actually got four uh, images here, which gives us a bit of a better choice to, um, to choose from. And the speed of response was pretty much the same. So going to give a point to Copilot here. So that means the final score is ChatGPT3, Copilot 2. Mm -hmm.